there everyone, Laser Dave here again from TroTech Laser. I have another laser hack to show you. This laser hack will show how to achieve a dimensional contrast effect using your laser system and a single species of wood, producing an incredibly natural looking effect that cannot be achieved any other way. Natural solid woods are best suited for this laser hack process to work effectively. Composite woods such as plywood and MDF woods will work but will produce a less desirable outcome. Here is a link to the woods used in this video. Scan this QR code or go to engraving-supplies.com to order. First design the desired graphic. In this example, I will first snap to the center of the Trotec logo in this outline. Then select Ctrl plus D on the computer keyboard to duplicate the logo and move the copy below. Now convert the logo to a red cut line and remove the black fill using the color palette. Select the first logo and convert it to a blue outline. Draw a small box around the second logo and fill that box with black. Select the object drop down menu, then order, and then select to back of page to put the black box behind the red cut line. Now save the design as it is ready to be laser processed. Place some solid natural wood into the laser system. This example is a solid sheet of cherry wood. Then focus the laser on the wood surface, close the laser, and open the Ruby software. Import the design into Ruby. Select the file and create a job. Using the overhead camera, position the design over the cherry wood sheet in the laser. Select the cherry wood materials parameter from the materials list. Confirm the red and blue parameters are turned on. Then deselect the black and grave color to turn it off. And then push the file to the laser. Start the laser to process the blue mark line and the red cut line. The laser will first mark the blue color on a Speedy 360 80 watt laser at 50% power, 3% speed at 2000 Hz. The laser will then proceed to cutting the 5 mm cherry wood at 100% power, 0.9% speed at 1000 Hz. Once the marking and cutting are complete, return to the Ruby software, turn off the red and blue parameters, turn the black color back on, and then push the file to the laser. Start the laser and engrave the black. In this example, at 100% power, 40% speed, at 500 dpi. Traditionally, the engraving is processed first, but for this laser hack, the engraving is completed second, with a black box over the text. This is because processing the wood this way will eliminate any undesirable staining onto the exposed wood grain and produce a far cleaner final looking result. Once completed, open the laser and remove the laser cut parts. Because the wood surface has been completely removed, revealing the beautiful grain pattern, the next step is to reseal and protect the surface. Spraying the engraved parts with any clear coating to protect the wood, keeping it from drying out. Ensure you use an outdoor UV-stable polyurethane if the wood product is placed outdoors. Once dry, the dark effect into the wood grain can be seen, producing a stunning natural result. For assembly, place a few drops of glue onto the laser mark outlines onto the base, then place the laser cut and engraved lettering onto each shape. Once finished, this process produces a high contrast, dimensional letter sign from a single wood species. This effect will showcase the natural grain in a way that cannot be achieved any other way, producing an extremely high perceived value look. Here's another example design, as signage is an ideal application for this process. Taking this welcome outline sign and laser processing it onto maple wood instead of cherry wood in this case. Like before, first cut it with the laser, then send the black engraving file and engrave it last. After completion, the engraving is again sprayed with a clear coating and glued to the base. The maple produces a brownish gold looking effect. As a comparison of wood species, I have also processed the same design onto cherry wood. And finally here is walnut wood. This laser hack is excellent for signage, but is also ideally suited for decor and art. In this last example, I will produce an artistic design onto a larger sheet of wood, producing a creative piece of wall art with the laser system using this laser hack. 
following the same process shown before, again by marking, cutting, and engraving. Then finally by spraying the engraving with transparent paint and then gluing the parts together. The final result from a single piece of wood is outstanding, bringing out the natural beauty of the wood for a fantastic final look. Note that using different laser parameters and focus settings can also produce lighter and darker effects on the engraving process. High power and slow speeds will have a darker result, and lower power at higher speeds will create a softer impact into the wood. The focus can also be adjusted on the engraving for more burn and less grain effect should you like. Because there are so many looks and grains in woods, and this process exposes the grains, every engraving will have a unique, one-of-a-kind look, making this an outstanding laser hack. All web links and design files shown in this video will be included in the link below. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see future laser hacks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.